and we're gonna go with the exercise. Let's dive into writing some code. And we're gonna create a new Maven project from the scratch. How do you create a Maven project? Right click, new project. And then I'm gonna choose new Maven project. And then I'm gonna do a simple Maven project, no archetype, and we're gonna be adding all that stuff ourselves, all right? Click next, there's gonna be io.java brains, and I'm gonna call this um, JUnit Phi Basics. Jar is fine. The artifact name is gonna be same as the name of the project. And click finish. Now, as with any Maven project that you import, that you create from the default archetype, it annoyingly points to Java SE 1.5. Uh, so we're gonna have to change this to Java 11. I'm gonna be using Java 11 because that's um, that's my um, Java version. Uh, you can choose something else if you like. Okay, so we have a couple of things we need to do. First, upgrade this to the latest version of Java, All right? So you do this by using this properties setting. This properties setting puts these two properties to the Maven compiler target and uh, source. Source is your source level, your source um, level of Java, and then target is what it ends up getting compiled down to. And both of them, I want it to be Java 11. So I had I had those two things over here. And I'm also gonna throw in another JUnit property, a JUnit property, which is the JUnit Jupyter version. JUnit Jupyter version is 5.4.0. This is, uh, I think the current version, I don't know. Uh, it could be slightly old, but it's fairly new. And this is something that I'm gonna be using as reference in my JUnit dependencies so that I don't have to put the version uh, in each of those things and uh, repeat myself. Okay, now that I've, this is done, I'm gonna be adding dependencies to JUnit. Remember, I told you there are two dependencies I need to add. You know what those dependencies are? First, you have the JUnit Jupyter engine. This is the platform, right? So this is the core platform, that big blue box that I drawn over there. This is what's gonna be doing all that stuff. This has the test engine, there's gonna be running the test, it's gonna be running the asserts or whatever. And then I'm gonna be having this dependency, which is the Jupyter API. This is what you're gonna be using. All right, so you see this? This Jupyter is the Jupyter API. And then this engine, Jupyter engine, is a platform, all right? So two dependencies that you need in order to um, have JUnit integrated into your project. So notice that the version here is JUnit.Jupyter.Version, which we have defined over here. So it all these dependencies have the same version, 5.4.0. I don't have to repeat myself. You can, of course, put 5.4.0 here, and it's gonna work just the same. The other thing that I want you to notice is a scope. Scope says test. It's a way for you to specify where you want your libraries to be active. Do you want your libraries to be within the test scope, in which case it's not gonna get included in your final build, or it can be remove it, then it can be runtime. So there are a bunch of different scopes that I don't wanna get into, but basically it affects whether this test here affects whether this dependency gets added to your final distributable when you when you deploy it. So when you run a Maven install or Maven deploy, when you, whatever is in the test scope is not gonna get included in your final build, right? So that's the advantage. And you don't want JUnit included in your final build. So all your JUnit dependencies are gonna have test scope. Okay, so that's, with this, you have actually added JUnit to your class path. Now I'm going to save, and then I will have to um, Maven update project. It was a little below your screen, but then uh, I click Maven update project, and then this should update the dependencies here. 